I believe that financial planning is a relationship and not a transaction. Hi, I'm Martin Graff, Financial Edge Group. Today, I want to talk about a question I had with a prospective client the other day, where they're asking about what is financial planning, how does it work, what is this financial plan thing I get, what does that cost, um, what does it cost every year, how much should I keep paying for this kind of stuff, um, and to kind of just build a plan that's going to last me for the next 20 years and life will go on well. So let's talk about that. So I'm a big believer, if you know me, if you work with me, you'll know that I'm a big believer in that particularly retirement, which is what our specialization is, is a journey and there's things that happen along the way. So the starting point, yes, is to create a plan. Understand where you're at, what's working well for you at the moment, what's not working well for you. What are some quick wins that we can get right now, whether that's to save on fees, save on costs on insurances, save on the mortgage, put some extra money into super, change some things around. So creating a starting point of where you're at is always the first step. And yes, that plan is figuring out, well, what are we gonna do over the next few years? What is the rough plan? Are we on track? How long is it gonna to take to get there? What does life look like when we do get there? But that's all it is, it's just a plan. Um, now we can help you execute that plan, but again, it's just a proposal, it's a projection about where we're going. And so we're big believers, and in fact, we only take on clients who are want ongoing financial advice is because we think that that's where we can add the most value, is along the way on the journey. Like when you put something into Google's Maps, it figures out where are, where are you now? It's gonna take you an hour to drive there, but along the way, it keeps redirecting you. If you've taken a wrong turn, it tells you to go around the block and head back. If there's traffic ahead, it'll divert you off, take an extra 10 minutes, but get back to your destination, something like that. And financial planning is the same, that things will happen in your life that are outside of your control that'll change the plan or the destination you're on. They may be good things. You got a bonus, you received some money, you received an inheritance, something like that, which means that, hey, we need to change the plans. Something in your life that changes. It may be something in the financial world that changes. The property market might have gone much faster and higher than we thought, and maybe it's a time to sell that investment property sooner. Maybe the share markets have gone faster than we thought. Maybe they've gone down temporarily. We need to keep make sure we're on track with that, stick to our plan, and adjust it as we need along the way. And particularly importantly, something outside of our control is the rules or the legislation could change. Now that might be bad. What we're doing today, we can no longer do. Or more often than not, it's good, there's new opportunities. We can put more money into super. We can buy more properties than we thought we could. We can retire sooner. We can access extra strategies like catch up contributions or downsizer contributions that just didn't exist three or four years ago. So it's important we keep on top of that stuff as well, as well along the way. So yes, we start with a plan. That's always the starting point. Yes, we project where we're going, but Getting ongoing advice along the way is where we're gonna make sure we get to that destination as best as we can on time, as efficient as possible, um, and picking up quick wins along the way. And that's the main thing is that it's those little adjustments that all of a sudden if we're 2% off and we keep going for years and years without recorrecting, we're gonna end up in a very different spot than where we thought we're going to. So I'm a big believer in ongoing financial advice and that's the way we work with our clients. Importantly, we only look to lock that in for 12 months so that, yes, if we're not doing our job, you won't continue working with us, but the clients we work with do, and we're proud and confident of the way that we conduct ourselves and the advice we give along the way for the journey. And even when we reach retirement, most of our clients continue to work with us in retirement because again, things change in their life, medical reasons, different reasons, they've still got investments ticking along um, for the rest of their life and importantly then setting up it up for the next generation as well. So that's kind of my answer in terms of that. Financial planning is a relationship, it's a journey, and that's I think in my opinion the way it should be viewed, not a transaction or one-off um, cost.